morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the Catholic Book of Worship, which is the smaller book, number 363. 363, healer of our every ill. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. You who know our fears and sadness, grace us with your peace and gladness, Spirit of all comfort, fill our hearts. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. In the pain and joy beholding how your grace is still unfolding, give us all your vision, God of love. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Tadeusz Uranowski and Sonny Wilcox, the special intention for Ulysse Basque, and also for peace in the Ukraine. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you. Pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of James. Beloved, do not grumble against one another so that you may not be judged. See, the judge is standing at the doors. As an example of suffering and patience, beloved, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Indeed, we call blessed those who showed endurance, who have heard of the endurance of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, and how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. Above all, my beloved, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth, or by any other oath, but let your yes be yes, and your no be no, so that you will may not fall under condemnation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response this morning is, the Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. The Lord is kind and merciful. It is the Lord who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit who crowned you with steadfast love and mercy. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. 
He will not always accuse, nor will he keep his anger forever. The Lord is kind and merciful. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. The Lord is kind and merciful. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Make us holy in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus continued his journey and went to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan, and crowds again gathered around him. And as was his custom, he again taught them. Some Pharisees came, and to test him they asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife? Jesus answered them, What did Moses command you? They said, Moses allowed a man to write a certificate of dismissal and to divorce her. But Jesus said to them, Because of your hardness of heart, he wrote this commandment for you. From the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Then in the house, the disciples asked him again about this matter. Jesus said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Friends, we see that Jesus lays the foundation of the sanctity of of marriage and the importance of till death do us part. In the letter of St. James, St. James continues to remind the people and all of us of the importance of living in community and to live the authentic Christian life every day of our lives. He talks about not swearing. He talks about not complaining against one another. It is our responsibility and our duty to make sure that we see Christ in another, no matter how difficult it might be. And so it is important for us to examine our hearts and to say, Lord, how am I doing in my part of building your kingdom as far as living with my community, my biological family, my parish family, our global family. So let us ask this kind and merciful Father, Psalm 103 reminds us, to help us in our desire to live our vocation in a pure and holy way and also to live with one another. Let us offer our prayers to our merciful God who always listens to our needs. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace in the Ukraine, that the hardened hearts of some may be softened to recognize that God's desire is peace among all people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, that the Lord will bless the church with committed men and women, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all married couples, especially whose relationships are on the rocks, that God may strengthen their sacramental bond, and for those who have not been married in the church, that they will seek God's grace and have their marriage blessed, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our world that Christ's peace may touch the hearts of all leaders and influencers and lead them to inner harmony, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for parents who lack adequate resources to provide for their children's basic needs. May the Lord bless them with people and means to eat their burdens, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all of us who are gathered here today 
that we may be graced with the mind and spirit of Jesus, the Son of the living God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Tadeusz and Sonny, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May the Lord shine his face upon them and give them eternal peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. Merciful God, you provide for all people and bring healing to those who call upon you. Hear the prayers we offer to you, we pray, and grant them as is your will. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created humanity, and when we were justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed us through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we now celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Tadeusz and Sonny, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint James, Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually 
into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Tomorrow's Mass and Holy Hour will be in a special dedication for peace in the Ukraine. Please join us if you are able. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. You who know each thought and feeling, teach us all your way of healing. Spirit of compassion, fill each heart. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, Give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. Give us strength to love each other, every sister, 
every brother, spirit of all kindness, be our guide. Healer of our every ill, light of each tomorrow, give us peace beyond our fear and hope beyond our sorrow. God bless you. Have a good day.